Hello, my dear friends. <laughs> friends? <laughs> You're talking to a camera. But they will watch this, they? It's probably just one person. Your mom is probably the only person watching this, am I right? It's not funny if you don't react to me. Welcome to How to Write a Book with me. Episode 3. That rhymes. So where did the last video stop? You don't know that, so why are we here? Shh, that was a rhetorical question. I wanted to sum it up after I asked it. You're so bad at this. Right, so I had a main character, I had her background story, I had a time and place where all this should happen, and the next step was just to start writing. I wanted the book to begin right in the aftermath. But for myself, I had to get to know Hannah better, so I started to write like a backstory when she woke up from coma and had to deal with all this damage of her world. Oh my gosh, that's exactly how The Walking Dead started. I know. You're copying it! No, at first I didn't. Do you think more people will read it because of that? I don't think so. I would buy the original if there's an original and not the copied story. I know, it's not... You're such a loser. Can't think of anything yourself, huh? Just copies the story of a famous series. Okay, stop it. I haven't watched it in the beginning. I just have watched it in November on DVD and I started to write a book in May. Yeah, like anyone's going to believe you. Mm, I guess not, but at least I know why I did that. To copy it. No. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, shut up. Why are you even here? I just let myself go with Hannah and the book almost wrote itself. The hard thing is only to describe all the things you're seeing in your head so that other people can see pictures in their minds and imagine it like you did. And you know, to write it interesting is also hard. Well, if it's as bad as you are at speaking... It's not! Sure. It's not, I promise, because I can read things over again and I can rethink them and I can change things. Many things. Sometimes, yeah. Like a thousand things. No, I wouldn't say that. The whole book should be changed. Thank you. <laughs> no biggie. So, sometimes I just needed a model of the situation that is happening in the book, and so I built it with the Legos and, you know, played along and... <laughs> a child. <sighs> so, since it's going to be all finished soon, I'm going to introduce you to some characters. Me? My name is Banny. Not you! Wait. Banny? Yeah, I'm the bad Annie. Oh my gosh. Bad? Annie? Banny! Got it? Please, make it stop. Okay, fine. Tell us of your little friends. Whatever. They're not my... Okay, so, Hannah, the main character, 19 years old, tall, blonde hair, green eyes, very strong personality, had a helicopter crash right before the disease spread, and she's living on her own since then. She had some, eh, friendships, but she didn't want that because she was losing too many people and she couldn't handle it. Her family came from LA and they moved to Kauai because her mom thought they needed a new beginning after their dad died. Ronnie, she's 16 years old, she's Hannah's sister, and she's probably dead. But she appears a lot of times in Hannah's dreams and thoughts because she was her best friend. And then there's Diego, he's 20 years old. He's half Hawaiian and half Spanish. Um, his hair is a little longer and like wavy or a little curly. And his eyes are brown most of the time. Now, that's a little secret, you have to read the book. And he was born on the island too, which is probably the reason why he's so calm all the time. Bam! Three important characters of my book. Oh, um, I forgot someone. <laughs> he's my 
Yeah, probably second favorite character of the book. His name is Dodo and he's an albatross. Diego found him left behind. He was all alone, an orphan, and he just couldn't resist. He had to take him home and take care of him. He is really something special. You are something special too. Thanks. No, that's not a compliment actually. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Despite the fact that Banny right here was so rude. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it to all of your friends. And maybe I'll see you next time. Mahalo for watching. Wait, where was the cutscene? Cutscene? Yeah, like last time when you fought the zombie. Um, there's none this time. What? That's the coolest part! You can't leave that out. But there's nothing to show them. Of course there is. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Diego. Oh, I love you so much.